Hello everyone, my name is Adam and this is the introductory video to a new series Understanding Computer Sound. When composing the intro tune, which you have just heard, I used several techniques and mi mixed them together. All of those were computer sound generation techniques. One of them was pulse width modulation, using a computer which only provided one bit sound output. I used uh, FM synthesis based on an OPL3 uh, chip on an old uh, sound card and using um, DOS-based um, tracker software. I used another piece of software, also DOS-based, to generate MIDI messages and send them to a tone generator to generate the uh, uh, drum background uh, in the second part of the tune. And finally, I used modern digital sound processing techniques to record the uh, guitar riff. All of those were mixed together. And even though as many as, I think, four techniques were used in that intro tune, they only represent a fraction of what methods were developed during the two decades of computer sound history that basically shaped what computer sound currently is. And those two decades were the 80s and the 90s mostly, when we saw an explosion of various methods, hardware, techniques, software that were used uh, to generate sound on computers, both in games and uh, for professional use. We will be looking at those two decades closely and that's what the whole series is about. Let's keep in mind that I'm not a sound engineer and I'm not a musician. I'm just a fan of retro computers who started looking closer and closer and closer at uh, the various sound techniques and sound uh, hardware used in uh, in computers and I just decided to hey okay it, it shouldn't just go in vain and uh, I shouldn't do just the learning on my own why don't I share that uh, share share what I learned with the rest of the world so that's what the series is about at this point I only recorded uh, four episodes uh, so I'm don't even, I'm not even sure what's ahead of us. I know that I want to explore all the various parts uh, and aspects of computer sound uh, generation. I'm going to be talking about uh, one-bit output, sound output uh, computers like this one. I will be talking about more advanced, but more advanced chips, but are still used in 8-bit computers. Um, I'll be talking about all the uh, stuff that was possible on Amigas the amazing advancements that were done by Atari computers. I will be talking about the whole chapter of history, which is PCs, where it all started very simple, similar to these one-bit output computers, but it ended in the most advanced uh, computer sound generation technologies. And in the meantime, there were so many interesting hardware and software developments, including the multitude of sound cards that were developed for PCs and for other computers as well. We'll be looking at very old sound cards like this one. We will be looking at very rare sound, counts, sound cards these days like this one. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, expansion cards to sound cards like this one here. Uh, so there's so much to explore uh, ahead of us and I'm really looking forward to that adventure. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you comment and please also provide me with your ideas of what to explore in computer sound, how to explore it, what you would like to see discussed uh, and let's, uh, uh, let's uh, uh, together uh, create a series that, uh, that will be uh, maybe important for posteriority for someone who wants to learn about uh, computer sound and someone to, who basically wants to relax and look uh, what's possible, what was possible in what is currently considered a retro computer.